was uh, when all these disasters started happening in Missouri, it, it kind of piqued my interest. And as I've come to realize, we don't seem to have been hit by as many disasters in Missouri as, as the southern states have. You start asking questions of your friends in other places of, of what they do. So, so I, I think my work in New Orleans has had a, a positive impact on, on what you know what, what we can take from that. One of the things they did is they set up a blanket purchase agreement process. Uh, our firm three years ago was was looked at, and we were selected. A budget purchase agreement is something that the government can exercise. It's a pre-arranged uh, fees and pre-arranged scope of services, so that when when something happens, I already had a contract in place, and they can just make a call, and up to ten thousand dollars, they can have us out there literally in an hour, four hours. I think they're supposed to have a day's notice. But that's been just a tremendous tool that I, I think it would be great for the state to be able to utilize. In Missouri, we have prevailing wage. And if you look at this slide, I thought if I go to Mile Levy in Missouri and I go a mile south in Arkansas and build a mile levy, what's the difference in labor? I use Butler County rates because Butler County is where my office is. An operator in Butler County with rich benefits makes $46.22 an hour. Labor, $33 an hour. Truck driver, $35. I figure we're going to build a lane about 15 feet tall. Have a, the slopes, the way that the core likes the slopes. You're looking at $900,000 in labor to build one mile of levy. And folks, we're competing with other states to get money to help us with our disasters. We have to make the best use we can of the resources we're going to get from the federal government. If you look at a, a wage that uh, I checked what the contractors we make in Butler County, if it's like building a Walmart or a shopping center, operator makes $25 an hour, that's still a $50,000 a year job. If you filter on down through that, that same model of levy, going to expend about $438,000 for labor. Folks, we're going to compete. We're going to, get a, we're going to get a little help from the government, from the federal government, to rebuild after these disasters. The same levy in Arkansas is going to get built faster. It's going to get built cheaper. And the reason is, not only does prevailing wage dictate these high rates, it dictates the work hours you can work, the days you can work, how much when you have to pay overtime. One thing I haven't heard much talk about today is the programs that are available, and we don't hear so much about them because we don't have to access these programs until there are disasters. You know, unfortunately, we're a little familiar with these programs because of all the floods that happened in 08 that NRCS was able to come in and help some of the farmers in local communities. But we've got this, this public law 8499, and we'll talk about it a little later. We've got the uh, uh, Emergency Watershed Protection Program, that's an NRCS program that is probably going to be very uh, important as we move forward. Federal appropriations, uh, I think Ms. Emerson has done a bang up job already in, in getting our, our message out to, to Congress. This public law 8499 is something that I'm sure the emergency responders here are familiar with. You guys are going to be able to come in to the, uh, you know, get the, the government in. They're going to send assessment teams, and they're going to report back to the Corps of Engineers whether, you know, another thing we're going to need here, we got the Memphis District, Little Rock District, the uh, St. Louis District to deal with the Corps of Engineers. So they're going to assess what's needed and then try to find a fund on a 75 25 basis. Uh, this uh, running the watershed program is going to be important. Uh, I think after the floods of 08 and 09, we were able to get that to clean out a lot of ditches in the area. I know our firm was involved with, with a lot of the survey and setting these uh, clean out projects up. That's going to be good for folks all over the, the southeast Missouri to get their ditches cleaned out so that water can get out faster. Maybe those folks that are here from that subdivision can utilize some of that too. You know, Ms. Emerson, I was really surprised when 
you already started to see that she's introduced legislation in Congress to $189 million for the Mississippi River tributary system. It's a lot of money. She's thinking about the Mississippi River is all flooding all the way down. It's, it's going to take a lot of money. So, you know, I think our congressional delegation, whether it be McCaskill or Block or Emerson, we need to pat them on the back. It sure seems like they have our best interest in our. The condemnation proceedings have become very cumbersome in the recent past. You know, you got 100 miles of levy, you may have a thousand easements, you may have three people that won't deal with you. Those three people can slow the project down for months and months and months because of the way our state laws are right now. It's not federal laws, but state laws. So if you guys can visit how to streamline in this condemnation process when it's necessary. In the public interest, I think we can do that. The environmental roadblocks, it's unfortunate. Lots and lots of trees are growing in the levees in public county. We also have a situation that after April 1st, each year you can't cut trees because of the Indiana Vax president. And our firm's been, we've done an Indiana Vax study before. You can go out and look up at all these trees and not see if anything blocks in. <laughs> Guys, some of this stuff's just nuts. Those trees don't even be there. You know, I'm an engineer, I have a license, I report to the board, just like I do and everything else does. If I go out and I try to help the community, and I make my best judgment, and something goes wrong, I'm going to be sick. I think there's a lot of those folks like me that would really like to help more. You know, you've got one chance to look at a problem, you may not see there's a go for a or levy until there's a problem and then wash it out. And then my little business and the, your 60 people that I employ, they're liable to the state, but I went and tried to help the folks certify a levy when I can't see anything other than what I observe. So that, that's an issue that we may be 